Yo, 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 uh there has been an error in this uh, in the cover page of this textbook for 50 years so can you be the one to do it so let me first explain what the cover page diagram is all about so suppose you consider a gravitational uh, force uh, under which a particle is performing motion so let's say that you have a particle which is experiencing a force a central force which is uh, directed towards the point o always and if that force was proportional to 1 by r squared it is an attractive force then it will be like gravitation like gm by gm1 m2 by r squared uh, an attractive force and the trajectory will be one of the conics if we assume that the particle does not have enough energy to go to infinity then it will be a bounded orbit and bounded orbit uh, would mean it will be an ellipse or a circle circle is a special case of an ellipse now if the force were some other function of r it is still attractive and it is still um, pointing towards uh, the fixed point o always so the trajectory uh, need not be an ellipse trajectory need not be one of the conic sections uh, so whatever dependence of r is there that will determine the shape of the trajectory so this is what the diagram shows for a general situation where for where the force is some function of the distance Uh, from that fixed point o the trajectory of the particle is shown in this manner so this is the trajectory now once again let us assume that the particle does not have enough energy to go to infinity so the orbit will be bounded bounded means it can it will have some minimum and some maximum distance from point o the inner circle represents the minimum distance and the outer circle here represents the maximum distance so the particle cannot go uh, closer than r minimum to the uh, point o and it cannot go beyond the distance of r maximum from point o so if you just consider two imaginary circles of radius r minimum and r maximum the trajectory of the particle has to be contained between these two circles the circles are centered at that fixed point o towards which the force is directed now my question is there is a huge error in this diagram huge error uh, in the trajectory in this trajectory can you spot the error now one thing uh, that is not an error that you may think might be one of the errors is that the orbit need not be closed for 1 by r square the ellipse orbit is closed but but in general the orbit need not be closed so closed meaning it is a closed loop uh, that is not necessary so that is not the error but there is some other major error and you require only very basic uh, j j level physics it's not very uh, complicated it's just very j level physics to figure out the error uh, it's very surprising that for 50 years people could not spot it or people did not point it out think about it and post your uh, thoughts in the comment section i'll have a look so right that's it for today see you guys good night